kitchen. Let's see if I can adjust this little bit. And you can see the back of my very vintage Morse, M-O-R-S-E, automatic zigzag, photomatic IV sewing machine. This is an oldie, but trust me, it's a goodie. It's so I dropped my device trying to show it to you. There it is. It's a Morse, M-O-R-C-E, automatic zigzag. Somebody bought and brought to me all the way from Columbus, Ohio. It's got its own little table that it sits down in. It's got the measurings here. It's a trick. It's and everything, Mother said. And I am getting ready to finish up a slip that I am making for my mother, a cotton white slip. Because those are the kinds that are more comfortable and they're not itchy. So I am currently working on a white petticoat for sweet mother. Welcome in everyone who may be coming in this Tuesday afternoon. 3.30 oh, almost. Yeah, hello from the Anchor Mudlark, Adam Gates Mudlarking. I like the new name, Adam. I like the new name. Definitely. I am sewing away here to, today, making mother a cotton slip or petticoat, as sometimes it's called. So I probably won't be doing a whole lot of chitter chattering because I'm sewing. Uh, and I hope. Oh, yeah. My first old name was too long, Adam. My first name was living with hypogamma globulin anemia or something, something, something. That was a little bit too much. <laughs> so I did shorten it to that yarn zebra. And then I started doing more stuff than crocheting. And people were like, that, that name don't suit you anymore. Because you are, you're not just crocheting, you're sewing, you're doing other things. And yes, I am. I'm sewing right now, to be honest. <laughs> Fixing that mama a beautiful... Um, I am making her a beautiful slip. I've really been ingenious, and I made a slip for me. Now it's time for Mama to have one. You made a slip for me. <laughs> and I made, yes. I had to let Mother you said have it. it's not, it's not my size. I said, let me try it on, mm -hmm. and it was perfect for me, guys. So perfect. We're just, uh, we're just moving right along, getting this made. Uh, the camera is not on the work that's taking place. It is on me. But I'm getting this ready. Because Maze and I are taking a uh, field trip coming up. And I've got to make sure she's got a petticoat. Hi, Tammy. I'm sorry you're feeling bad, darling. Oh, let me let me sew up them britches there. Let me sew them britches up for you, Adam. Listen, I love this machine. It is the bomb diggity. Very antique. Not as antique as uh, some of the machines I got upstairs, but it's still an oldie but a goodie. And I got most of the kinks out of it. Most of them. I might have to make me another uh, bobbin here. Because I'm using up all this good white thread. Hey, welcome in. This is a Morse 4400. Automatic zigzag, automatic buttonhole stuff. I haven't figured that part out yet, but I will. I will get it. I will get it plum figured out. Plum figured out, y'all. How you like that? Better, better English or Mama, get you some coffee in your cup. 
Yeah, I'm looking in it. There's a big old pie in there. You want some? I'm looking at it. I made a big old apple pie. Mother and I did. Uh, oh, she yeah. she is the one who what? Peeled them. Now I need the. What do you need, darling? Your coffee cup? Yep. It's over in the sink. We are just working. I've got all the pins and needles out of this side. And a white petticoat is something that Mama loves to wear. She's all about the white petticoat, y'all. So that's what's happening right now. We did pin all the seams together. And I'm getting ready to work it up. Absolutely. No in there, huh? Oh, are you sure? Push that push that button in. Mom's getting her a little bit of Joe. Yeah, a little bit. Pull that whole machine up towards you and you'll get every last drop. Just put your hand behind I the back it. of the machine. Got you got enough? Got yeah, got She's it. getting her some coffee, y'all. I tell you what, coffee it is. She's got her some. That's that's amazing. Yeah, put it in there if you get that pie out of there. We baked a beautiful apple pie. I am, Denisha. I am on it. Hey, Connie. Bless you. Come on in. Hey, Chris. I can see something pop up every now and then. I can see a little popping up of messages. And if I miss you, please, please forgive me. Please forgive me. It's not on purpose. I am absolutely, I am totally impressed by this 19, oh my goodness, 60 something machine, maybe later. And it, it is working like a top. Well, the top part, the way I want it to work, is absolutely amazing. I'm taking all the pins out, you all, and this is my hack. I'm going to show you my hack. My hack is a broke guy back. My hack, it's a magnet from my refrigerator. Look at all them pins stuck on there. When I get through with these seams, I've got this pin catcher. It's just a magnet, and it just grabs all these pins up, and I don't have to worry about chasing them around to keep the cap from getting um, stuck one, in it. That one tomato out there looks like it's going to be yellow. I know. Cup of tea time. Is it tea time? I don't know. Okay. Go get your tea and come right back. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm not used to this machine, you guys. It doesn't have a foot pedal. I will tell you right now, this machine does not have a foot pedal. Uh, it is a rotary sewing machine. And she has to rotary it in her sand. It has got, it's got a knee pedal. No kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I had to step away. I knew that was going to happen. Well, what were you having to step, step away? Thank you, Alan. And I've got right here another magnet for all these extra needles that I just took out of the, the seams of that fabric. Just a refrigerator magnet. Mm. That's what I'm using. I dropped the little pink one. Got to get it. What is it, man? What is, what is that noise? Yeah, what is it, noise? It's an alarm going off over there. Okay, we're back to it. Thanks for hanging out with me. What you think you're trying to do, though? And I'm just going to tell you guys, 
This has been a lot of fun working on this machine. Mama, you warm, honey? Yeah. Warm, so, I'm warm. She's okay. cold a little bit. So this is Mama's slip. We recycled a white sheet, y'all. Man, that's long. That's that is on the ground, Mama. It might trip you up. We recycled a white sheet. sheet. <laughs> we did. I kid you not. We recycled a white sheet so that Mama could have a beautiful white petticoat and nobody's going to see it but her maybe her doctor or me or me so this is what it looks like y'all I think it's going to be wide enough I'm the one that needs the wide angle slip you all thumbs up the light come on get that thumb can up in there I was going to show you how this machine works. Okay. Can't see much under there, but this. This is a knee. You push that and the machine sews. You push it with your knee. Y'all see my knee right here? My knee goes right up against that. And I got to finish this project because today is that day. Y'all following me? You know what day it is? You look like you infusion. Got black pepper in this. No, it's cinnamon. It's infusion day, so I'm gonna sew and take care of this. Connie, isn't it beautiful? Oh, it is so fun to use. Now that it's, I know how to get it going. I love it. So, I'm going to get over here. I'm going to take you along with me to the ironing table, which just happens to be my stove top. <laughs> over here where we usually cook and eat. It now has a lovely iron on it. And getting ready to sew, uh, press the sleeve. That's what they called press the stitches down. I'm going to press the stitches down. I'm going to sit you all right here. Hope you don't fall off. How's everybody doing today? Thumbs up the live when you get up in here now. If you, if you know, if you know how. If you don't, oh, you know how that is. But here we go. I'm going to, I am going to sew the seams down flat. So, that's coffee. Yeah, yeah, throw it in the trash. It's empty. So, here's what we're doing. Got my little miniature ironing board. And I say miniature, that's what I mean. That's what it is. Got me a little miniature ironing board up in here. My machine, my sewing machine is taking a little rest while I press the seams on this thing. You can't see it from here. I might pull you down a little bit more. Nope, that's just my hand. I want to bring you all over here. Okay, there you go. Now that's, that's the way to do it. Put a little light on the subject. Okay, I am. I'm working hard today, but hardly working. But we have a beautiful hello everybody coming in if i missed you please forgive me yes don't charge it to my heart if my head can't see the words i'm using my little bitty cell phone and my little bitty tripod and i will tell you the truth this is probably one of the biggest projects that I have done since I was on that big mission to mask. This is probably one of the uh, biggest projects that I have done because I literally got so in burnout 
but now that we've got this lovely machine up and working, Mama is going to pick out some good fabric that she wants to use to make, you know, a quilt top. And I'll tell you, I've got some extra fabric left over from the mask making, the mission to mask. If you go to my playlist, and I would appreciate it if, if people would run my list because I'm sort of stuck. Uh, instead of gaining subscribers, I'm losing them. As a matter of fact, the other day, somebody said on my page, I thought this was a crocheting channel, but I guess I was mistaken. I'm unsubscribing right now. I said, bless your heart, honey. Bless your heart. Hey, Sylvia. I love you, darling. Yeah, so somebody was uh, was uh, offended that I was talking about Jesus on my channel. But you know what? I'll talk about him all day long if I want to. Because without him, we're nothing. And she said she didn't sign up for any kind of religious conversation. That she only wanted somebody to show her how to crochet something. And if you're going to try to shove the religion down my throat, I don't want nothing to do with it. So I'm unsubscribing right now. I said, bless her, Lord. I'm praying for those ears, girl, both of them. Both those ears need to be able to hear. Absolutely. Let's see what we got here. Pressing this thing. All I can say is we need to press into Jesus. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And I'm not even crocheting right now. I'm sewing. Oh, heaven forbid that my channel says, what does my channel say? That yarny zebra and stuff. Well, it's time that we do the stuff. We're going to do the stuff right now. And that stuff is ironing a petticoat or a slip for my beautiful mama. So she can wear it underneath her garments. So she will have that petticoat. Yes, indeed. Up under there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Guys, we have to be like Christ. We have to have compassion for each other. And I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about an intimate relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, it's important. Very important to know him in that way. It is indeed. Okay, I'm going to seam. I'm going to sew down on this side now. Y'all know I'm, uh, I'm at it. I'm at it right now. Working up a storm. Got to get this ready for Mama. So she can wear it. Absolutely praise the Lord, everybody. I struggle a little bit with the neckline, y'all. A wee bit. Because it, it just likes to argue with me. Mommy can up here and say howdy to them. Show them what you're drinking. Coffee? Hey, I'm drinking coffee. She's yeah. right here. She's got, her, coffee. she's got her cup of joe right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she, she gets cold real easy. So this petticoat is going to help her not be so chill when she's wearing this thin, lovely little caftan. Yes, and it will help her to stay warm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting ready to hem these armholes down. <laughs> oh, I know, sweet Denny. I know, sweet girl. They just have their own thoughts going. I'm going to walk back over to the machine now. And get right back to it. 
and you know we all have different things that we go to YouTube for. Right, Mama? Mm-hmm. All right, again, we do. I know that I used to look up tutorials all the time to learn how to do. Uh, <laughs> thank you to learn how to do the uh, certain stitches and hand sewing right mother said we can just get us a needle and thread and we'll have this all hemmed up and ready to go well because it is an old sheet turned into a cotton petticoat I use the hem already already at the bottom of the sheet so I'm not worried about the hem now because it's done already it's been done the hem is already done hallelujah praise his holy name mm -hmm. so I do mix my uh, praise and worship in with my crocheting and sewing because without him, I am nothing in this world. I couldn't do a thing. Oh, I can't even walk without him holding my hand. Amen. That's the truth, ma'am. That's it. Absolutely. Amen. That is the Praise truth. the Lamb of Glory. I can't even walk without him holding my hand. Yes. Can't walk without him holding my Can't do it. You can't either. Mm -mm. Working on juicing up. Because you guys may have heard me say it's infusion day. Today is indeed infusion day. I just put you right down on top of this little sewing table. Hey, mukbangs and more. Welcome in, my dear Zach. How are you? Mother and I are over here in the kitchen slash dining area. I got my back to the dining room, the kitchen, and my kitchen island is all over here. And I am just working up a storm in here. Got to get Mama's pretty petticoat ready for her to wear. Absolutely. I hope it's her size because I'm having a hard time Honey, you know that's right. <laughs> Love is powerful. Yeah. Love is very powerful, Connie. I know. So, I'm getting right back here to the job at hand so that Mama can put this on and see how well it turned out for her. I just want to make sure that she is happy and has what she needs and God is good. Oh, he's so good. It might get a little noisy right here, guys, right about now. So uh talk some talks among yourselves. Each other a high five. Give me a thumbs up if you can. If you if you will. Hallelujah. Let me get this up off the floor. We want this white slip to stay pretty white. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up or nothing. You know what I mean, Vern? We can't mess it up. We got to keep uh, petticoat clean. Absolutely. Yes. What's happening, honey? Oh, there's some open already, honey. Oh, okay. Mama loves her peanut butter, y'all. I'm just saying. She is all about the peanut butter, and that's fine and dandy. Peanut butter is full of protein. Am I right or right? You're right, you're right. Where are we? Here we go, y'all. Hold tight. Going for a ride right down the hatch here. Getting it going. I know, I know. You can't hear me talk when I'm doing that. <laughs> So, since the machine is making such a racket, we're just gonna we're just gonna praise the Lord a little bit. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain. You've got peace of mind. 
like that you've never known. known. Then things change, change. and you're, you're down, down in the valley. You don't lose faith for you never alone. Oh, the God on the mountain, he's still God in the valley. When things go wrong, he'll make them right. Oh, the God of the good times, he's still God in the bad times. Oh, the God of the day, he's still God in the night. Woo. Well, you talk of faith when you're up on that mountain. Oh, but talk comes so easy when lies that it's been. But it's down in the valley, oh, that valley of trials and temptations. Oh, now that's when faith is really put to the test. For oh, the God on the mountain, he's still God in the valley. When things go wrong, he'll make them right. Oh, the God of the good times, he's still God in the bad times. Oh, the God of the day, he's still God in the night. Oh, my God of the day, he's still my God in the night. Well, hallelujah. Hey, isn't he an on-time God? On time, all the time, night and day, every day. Every day. Mm, mm -mm. We can call on him. When we're in trouble, we can call on him when we're just fine. We can call on Jesus, that sweet name, the name of Jesus. And he's right beside us all of the time. Not when we're in trouble or just when we're sad. He's here beside us when we're happy and mad. Oh, Jesus loves us. He loves us so. Yes, he does. He's a lily of the valley, the one who makes me whole. Yes, yes, hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh, I am saved and I'm glad I am. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Oh, I am hallelujah and i'm glad i am sing that one y'all know that one i just made it up as i was going along i just i, di I didn't make it up the lord gave it to me but anyway it is noisy in here with the machine going and a woman talking and a gabbing right on through it like i am i'm telling you i am telling you let that let the let the good times roll with the Lord by your side. He is on time. He's an on time God. Woo. Well, Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on that main line. Tell him what you want. Call him up on right now. You got to call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. Call him up. Call him up. 
Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. What you want right now. <laughs> That's a good old classic, isn't it? It is. We have sung that one over the years. Praise the Lord. Isn't he good all the time? All the time he is good. He is good all the time. Not right. just sometimes. Nothing Woo! better than Jesus being Nothing good. Nothing better all the time than now. Jesus being mm -hmm. good all the time. Great He's great not great good great just great. ever now and then. He's good all the time. Isn't that right? Say amen. Say amen. It is. Whew, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've got this thing uh, stitching away, y'all. I had to... Um, redo my thread a little bit right there it sort of uh it decided to cag up a little bit you know how that works mm -hmm. i'm telling you welcome in everyone you worked on your diamond painting today let me tell you i have been working on um, a slip for mama bays i'm gonna tell myself i made one and it was too big so guess who got a new petticoat me mm -hmm. I did. I got a new one. So the one I'm working on right now is for this beauty over here. I love her. I love her. I certainly do. So we are we are at it. We're making another slip for Mama. So I'm going to try to finish it and let you all have a look-see at it. And like. hello, Granny D. Come and look at Mama. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's bring that Mother Bays into the screen here. Mm -hmm. She's got her favorite food in her hand. Show them that favorite food. Peanut butter. Grab it up. She loves peanut butter, y'all. <laughs> peanut butter it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's one of the favorites of all. Yes, it And is. she can make the best peanut butter pie. If you've never had peanut butter pie in the refrigerator, one of them, graham cracker crust, cool whip, uh, cheese, cream cheese melted and at room temperature. What else goes in it? Cool whip, peanut butter, and yeah, all the goodies. Yeah. All of the good stuff, y'all. Yes. I just tell you, we can, we put it together. And I'm just sewing on my very vintage machine. Uh, it was bought in Columbus, Ohio and delivered to me last month. Uh-oh. Yep. Delivered to me last month. Or was it this month? I don't remember whenever. It, that, in August sometime. So it is. it was last month. I'm, I'm excited about it. It's definitely, definitely a, a very treasured old machine. Now, and I will honestly tell you, I've never heard of a Morse, M-O-R-S-E, Morse uh, sewing machine. Never heard of it. I've heard of the Singer. I've heard of the uh, Sears and Roebuck sewing machines. They call them the Kenmores, I guess. Um, what else? Mama, I figured we'll have a good salad for supper tonight oh, since okay, we ate, a, ate good. Uh, okay, some good honey, lunch. Good. We'll do us a little. Uh, I got my stitching a little bit uh, mm -hmm. messed up. I'm going to have to check my bobbin, make sure that it's still still doing what it's supposed to or if I need to make another bobbin. You know, when the bobbin gets a little bit empty, uh, it will certainly give you some grief. Oh, it's still good, so we're all right with the bobbin. The bobbin is fine, hallelujah. Lord. That's what I say. Okay, Lord. one side is done. I'm going to the other side now. I'm so excited, y'all. Mama 
yeah. has been needing a new petticoat for a while. If you don't know what a petticoat is, <laughs> it's a slip. Look, look. It's something you wear under your clothes, Mama said. That's right. Now, who can tell me what petty means? Petticoat. Any guesses why it was called a petticoat? <laughs> and I did use an old sheet, y'all. It's a sheet. It's machine washable and bleach. You can bleach it if you have to. I used an old sheet. I shall not tell a lie. Mm -mm. Ain't no sense in going out and buying a big bolt of uh, white fabric when you got a good white sheet that can go to a new purpose. And I'm telling you that. Go make you some tea, sweet girl. I love it. <laughs> I love you, sweet D. Go right on, honey. Go, go, go. He might have brought you something good to eat. Go get it. But yeah, this is this is the slip I'm making for my sweet mama. And I pray to God that it sure does fit her. Because the first one I made fits me. I got it on right now. Right here. Look, y'all. I sewed me a petticoat. It's got them good shoulders, too. So, I did. I sure did it. And now, I sure do hope this is going to fit, Mama. It might be just what we need. Thank you, sissy. Wait till it's done. We're not going to be modeling it or nothing. Because, you know, it is a petticoat. But I will show you the finished product when I get a chance. I pray everyone is doing well. Uh, if you can't stay, I understand. Um, but thanks for coming in. Thanks for the thummies. And I'm back to it, y'all. I'm getting ready to do the other seam. I'm doing that uh, how to seam so you don't see the seam where I've been stitching it together because I am doing a French stitch. I know some of you are like, a what, what, what? Yeah, that's what's happening. And it will keep it from um, being seen. Your stitches aren't even visible. There's one in there already cold, Mama. You put one in and get one out. Mama's yeah. getting her adopt paper diet. A diet one. Putting one up and she's getting out a cold one. Look right here. There's a cold one right back there or right there. Oh my goodness, we got some sweet corn on the cob. Actually, I bought it the other day at uh, my local Save-A-Lot. It's about two minutes or three minutes up the road, ain't it, darling? Mm -hmm. And we just got us some of that stuff. It's it two for a dollar. I know, it should be four for a dollar, but sometimes, you know, the farmers got to make a little money too. So they bring them and and we eat them. They bring them to the store, we buy them and eat them. That's how it works. So that's what we're doing right now. She's having herself a little peanut butter. I am guzzling because I do have my infusion tonight. Yes, indeed, you heard it. You heard it here. It's stitching so good. I'm telling you, this thing is vintage, you all. And I, Mama and I are going to put together a quilt. I'm going to have her help me. She quilted throughout her lifetime. So I've got a lot of fabric left over from the mask making. So I'm going to get um, her to help me piece them together. And that's what we're going to do is have... A big old quilt made. We'll do the quilt top and then I'll quilt it. Um, we'll do all that stuff. It'll be perfectly fine. All that beautiful fabric that I had left over from the mask that I was making like a mad woman. Y'all know it. Some of you wore some of them. Some of you got a mask from me. Back whenever we didn't have any stores that had any left back in 2020, I was sewing and making masks, y'all. Yes, you know I did. 
I did it, I did it. I sent mama some. I sent my mama's neighbor friend some. I just sent a bunch of them. Okay, this is coming along just dandy. Yes, indeed. What a blessing. We got a couple little stitches here that had a moment. So we're going to get it back under the get it back under the machine and tack along tack it right along this is such a cool little machine y'all i'm in love with it oops i just broke my thread i still love it i still love it but i did break my thread so i gotta stop that business can't have none of that i checked my bobbin earlier and i was hoping that we still had enough left without having to do another one. Let's see what's on there. Oh yeah, there's plenty of there's plenty of thread still on there to finish this up. So just gonna get this little thread out of here. Got a little bit congested underneath there. I didn't bring my my what do you call it? Uh, garbage disposal. My thread's going to be all over the floor. <laughs> and that silly kitty will just walk through it and have himself a good old time. Yeah, I'm going to be, if you notice, I am. I am threading this machine again. A lot of the newer machines have a self-threader. I have not ever been a fan of that self-threading machine. It just seems to aggravate me more than it does help me. So I I do my own. I do my own threading. And try my very, very best to not uh, complain about having to thread. My vision isn't the best as it used to be, but praise God... I still have it. Amen. All right. Now we got to put that bobbin back in. I told you this is an old machine. Y'all look at that old bobbin. That's it. Praise the Lord, everybody. Get that set up. Yes, get that bobbin thing in there the right way. It has to be the right way or it'll be tagging up and acting cracky. That's the way to put her in right there. My home economic teacher didn't like to see me coming because I, I was sell, mother taught me how to sew and I so the way mama did <laughs> welcome in if you just came in i have i'm sitting here with my cell phone doing this little uh, live so i only see a few comments at a time please note that i am not ignoring you hey elaine how are you how are you god bless you so much god bless each of you in here Yes, indeed. God is good. He sure is. And He is faithful. He is. Hallelujah to the Lamb. All right. All right, now. If Mama starts having to run in this slip, she might not get far. <laughs> no. Because it don't look like it's too happy to have a... Uh, it looks a little bit... Uh, it'll be all right. Y'all, it's going to be fine. It's going to be, God bless you. <laughs> God is still on the throne. Isn't he good? All the time. Mm, there is no other way to say it. 
He's good all the time. Praise his holy name. Mm. Doing a little bit of uh, stitching here today. If you just came in, I am sewing a petticoat for my beautiful mommy. And this is a rotary machine. It sews when I push my knee up against the machine, y'all. I know. Very interesting, but I can't complain. Except for the stitches are acting wonky right now. I'll complain about that. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's in there the right way. We can't have no wonky stitches. Definitely can't have that. What you doing, Mama? Having chatting. something to eat? I'm chatting my foot up and down. You're patty caking? me some pop. Dr. Pepper. That Dr. Pepper is some... Mama likes that diet, Dr. Pepper. Y'all ever tried the diet, Dr. Pepper? It's good. Anyone? Anyone? It is good. It's good. Mama said it was good. I take her word for it. Yeah, it is good. Mm-hmm. A little bit of Dr. Pepper in the house right now. Mm -hmm. There we go. Working on this seam again, you all. I am hiding all of the raw edges. That's what I'm up to right now is... Is doing the raw edges, getting them under cover, making sure. This will be comfortable wear. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Sometimes we find ourselves so busy, we don't have time for the Lord. And he always has time for us. You know, he's with us all the time. He's with us overnight when we sleep. He's yes. with us overnight, over day when we eat. When we're awake, he provides for us. We have food on our table. A good place to sleep. Praise the Lord. Shoes on our feet. Water to drink. You know, there's always somewhere, someone who is dealing without electricity. Ah. Uh, food, shelter, water. We need to lift them up. And we need to ask the Lord to just help. Help those people that are still in Louisiana without power since Hurricane Ida. Y'all, can you imagine not having any electricity? Well, I say that, but my younger days, when I was a toddler, we didn't have running water. And we used a kerosene lamp. Amen. We did. Just being straight up honest with you. We did. Not have all those amenities. That's right, amen. Okay, guys. It's time for the hard part. And that's getting the... The sleeves rolled down and hemmed. Got to have that done. Turn it down. Turn it down and uh, hem it real good. I just tell you. That's how it's going to be. We'll take care of all these stray, stray streams later. But God is so good. He's so good all the time. Yes, the Lord God is a living well. The Lord God is the sun and shield. He gives grace and glory. 
No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. The Lord God is a sun and shield. He gives grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Now, you know what that song's saying? If you're serving the Lord and you're doing uh, what he has called you to do in obedience, he will not hold one good thing from you. No, he won't. Yeah. Oh, uh, exactly, honey. Exactly. We had, uh, Mama, Mama, what did y'all use for a refrigerator? Refrigerator. Uh, uh -huh. A cold bank. A cold bank, y'all. You know what a cold bank is? Where they, where they dig coal out and, and leave a hole under it and, and you can go in there and put your stuff in it. Yeah, under the ground. If you Have you ever went to a cave? Have you ever visited a cave uh, and wished you had something on besides... Uh, a short sleeve shirt or something. If you ever visited a cave and froze in there, you thought to yourself, now it's a hot summer day. I'm just going to dress for the occasion. We're going to go to this, we're going to go down to this cave and take a gander at all this. But when you get there, you're cold, you're freezing, you're thinking to yourself, I thought I was dressed for the occasion, but underground, it is much colder than it is on the top. So, mother's saying they used a coal bank to put their, like, milk or something in. And a coal bank is just, like I said, a place under the ground that has been hollowed out, coal's been dug out of it, or it's like a little cellar type thing. And that is where the groceries were kept. Um, probably didn't have a whole lot of fresh groceries. Um, you ate what was canned because you knew that that was going to be uh, still good. You weren't going to eat something that was spoiled. And that's that's just the facts of life, y'all. That's the facts of life. Amen, Amen. Yep, yep, yep. Even when I was still at home, before I went off to college, we did not have running water in our house. Like, uh, to... Like the water coming from the city. We didn't have city water. We had a old uh, a well dug and that stuff. My goodness. Some of that water from that well smelt like rotten eggs because the guy who dug the well dug it too deep and hit a sulfur line. Yeah. So we had to deal with that growing up. Having... Uh, the water would turn the pots and pans red when Mama would cook with it. And uh, it was just a, a mess. There's city water now on the homestead where I grew up. They finally got city water up in there. And um, hey, it's a, it's a miraculous thing to think that that water from the city could just come through the plumbing pipes and you have running water in the house. You know what a treasure that was? Thought I was living high off the hog when we got running water. And it was being pumped in from the pump house Yep, that's what it was. Running water pumped in from the pump house so that we could have 
um, water to put in our kettle of uh, kettle of oatmeal. Put a little water in it, or a little water in our um, eggs to boil them. Mm, water for drinking, water for mama's coffee. But even so, that big spring of water, it's still up the holler. You can still go up there and get you some good, good, fresh water. My, my, my. If you've never drank the water from the spring, I don't know. <laughs> there you go, the kerosene lamps. Yes, those oil lamps. Mother has several of those. And they are still working. When the lights go out, electricity's out, those things come in handy. Trust me when I say they, they still do. You know what? It's called the old ways. The old ways. Be thankful for the old ways. Because, you know, kids today wouldn't know what to do if they had to find themselves going out to get a bucket of water to drink or go out and empty the bucket because you use the bucket inside at night. You know what I'm talking about? The bucket. Chamber pot. It's true. Might as well tell it like it is. That chamber pot now comes in handy. Comes in handy. Especially in the dead of winter and you don't want to go out to the outhouse. What's an outhouse, you may ask? An outhouse is a place where you go do your business because you don't have an indoor loo. Mm-hmm. That's okay. That is all right. We're talking a history now. We're really getting into that now, y'all. Talking some history up in here. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Absolutely. Go on out there, honey, and take care of business. Now, just let her go. Let her just go right ahead. Let it happen because ain't nothing wrong with it. There ain't a thing wrong with it. How do you think the pilgrims did back in the day? I'm saying it right now. If you if you got it, flaunt it. If you don't, I'm just kidding. That's not true. I'm not. I'm sorry. Roll with it. I, I me tell you, I have two, and I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with it. I can do it. If it's a necessity, I can do it. I can do it. Not a problem. I don't think the kids today would uh, understand it or want to even think about it, but. They just surely wouldn't. They surely wouldn't. They wouldn't be. Surely wouldn't be. Oh, hey, listen. You take a cell phone away from a child and they think they're dying. I understand. We grew up in the foothills of Kentucky, Appalachia. Mm. And we had what we had and we were proud of it. I am, I am an actual coal miner's daughter. Y'all, my name ain't Loretta. But I am a coal miner's daughter. Yes, I am. My papa worked in the mines and provided for his family. Amen, Mama. Yeah, he drove coal truck all coal. Oh, that was your papa, wasn't it? Your papa. Yeah, mm -hmm. my papa. Your my papa. Daddy. Your daddy. Yes. Yeah, that's the truth. 
Absolutely, y'all. It's getting, it's getting there. It's getting there, y'all. Mm -hmm. Mama's mm -hmm. over here playing with a buttons. big old jar of buttons. buttons yeah. Here, show them what you got, honey. A big old jar of buttons. She I'll does show. have mm -hmm. a big old jar of buttons. Mm -hmm. I will see. She'll I'm show you. Me. She'll show you them buttons, y'all. Absolutely. Anytime, anytime you had a a garment that needed um like the buttons taken off of it. If you had a garment that was damaged or um didn't fit anybody anymore, you take them buttons off of it. And you are, you're good to go. You take them buttons off that other outfit and save it for another one. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, you have your mama's button can? Well, I think this is mama's button jar, isn't it, mama? Yes. She's got a big old jar here that um, she had buttons in for years. And it is, it's not chock full, but if I had found all of the other buttons because she's had her share of buttons collected up over the years if i'd found all of her buttons we'd have a big old button collection but she's got one right here in her lap she does amen sis amen amen you gonna show them your buttons honey i can show them my buttons i sure can let me tell you buttons our girl's best friend sometimes. Other people are like throwing those things away because the button fell off and you're looking at them like, you threw it away because you lost a button? Do you can't the throw. Button. There's a button somewhere that'd go on that. Don't be throwing it away. <laughs> Get that button jar out and find a button on it. You know, every now and then you can go to Goodwill. Hold it right here. Yeah. Right here. Okay, put it over there. Y'all look at this old, this is the original uh, mason jar. Let me see if it says it on there. It is. Oh my goodness, ball perfect mason. Right here, y'all. Check out these buttons. See them? <laughs> Looks like a rain down in there. It is. Ooh, look at all of them buttons, y'all. That's a big, tall one. <laughs> what is this, a quart and a half? Yeah, uh, half a gallon. Half, that's a half a gallon. Half a gallon with all them buttons in it. Here, Mama, I'll let you have it back. <laughs> that's heavy. I was holding it with one hand, y'all. That, I smell you lucky. Ooh, Mama, that boy's got to take a while and walk. What are you going to do, boy? He's making a stank up in here. Lucky Pants wants to walk. We have walked him back and forth today, and he just looks at us like, is that all we're going to do? What's the matter, baby? Huh? God is so faithful, sis. You are right. Listen at him. What do you want, Lucky? Out. What do you want? Out? You want to go out? You want to go outside? He is, is so rotten. Y'all, yes. he is so he rotten. Looking up at you and out. Yeah, he's telling me he wants to go out. So, I might have to cut this short and take him outside. Take this rotten tail out the door. I did say rotten tail because that's what he is. <laughs> We've been on here for an hour and I'm still not finished. Let me show you my progress. And I haven't put, I haven't put the, I haven't done the shoulders yet. Come on, we'll go in a minute. Would you quieten down? Yeah, quieten bit? down. Tell him, Mother. Can you quieten down for just a little bit? We'll take you out. Looks right good, here. guys. Let me turn it the right side out so you can get a look-see at what we've got going on here. I did not do the sleeves yet. This is this is the one side, and here is here is the neck. 
I'm not done yet, but Mama's going to have her slip ready to wear whenever I get back in here. And I might do a picture to show you the finished product, but let me turn this machine off. Amen. I agree. Bonnet, Connie, I love you. Love you, Denny. I love everyone that's in here. Uh, but Lucky is calling. Mother Nature is calling Lucky. Come on. Remember, Jesus loves you, and you are his favorite and the apple of his go. eye. We'll go outside. And he does. He needs to go. Love to all. Do 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 that lady do do. Here we gotta go. Rock.